Get ready now. Welcome one million on Facebook Live. Welcome them. <laughs> Whoa! Give them just a little bit of shout and praise and music. I feel a little bit of Pentecost coming. I feel a little bit on the third day the stone rock rolled away coming. I feel a little bit of death couldn't hold him. They couldn't block him. They couldn't bind him. They couldn't break him. Whoa! Shove your neighbor and say, this is not Good Friday. Until everybody starts talking, I'm not going to go. I said, turn to somebody and tell them this is not Good Friday. Turn to somebody and tell them this is not Good Friday. Now look right back at him and say, I know this great Friday. destroying, burden removing, devil chasing, God exalted. After you give him your best praise, you can shout your way down to your seat. Hey, Don't let me stop you. I said, don't let me stop you. has had a resurrection of your own. You ought to do 200 claps for 200 souls that came out of hell and populated heaven. Can I tell you a little testimony? Can I tell you a little testimony? Yeah, that's a little, it's little. Yeah. This afternoon, I got a call and a guy was like beside himself. Like he had to stop and talk in tongues and stuff. He said, I've been watching around and he said, I'm just a little bit tired of what I've been seeing on TV. I said, well, if I watched Christian TV, I'd probably be a little disheartened myself. I heard of one major network this week that sold eight of their stations into the secular marketplace and just put the money in their pocket. Stations that Christians built. So I was, I've been a little bit ticked off. Is that bad, ticked off? Huh? I've been upset. Stop being offended about everything. I'm offended about you being offended. And they said, I'll never see Pentecost anymore. It's like we're ashamed of the power of God. I'll never see prophetic preaching anymore. 
Do you know why souls aren't getting saved like they used to? Because there are no preachers. It pleased God through the foolishness of preaching to bring men and women into the kingdom of God. That's why that's what we do at Valor Christian College. We turn out preachers. I watched three of them in here two weeks ago and I'm like, I think I just need to sit down on Sunday morning and let them preach. Like all the time. So I'm making this long, I'm sorry. It's just a little testimony. So I've been believing God for a resurrection miracle, you know. And this guy said, I'm, I'm just so tired of it. So he said, what I've decided to do, he said, uh, I want you on all across the United Kingdom. I said, well, my daughter just plowed that soil. She's just there for a week. He said, I want you preaching on there every day. I want you all across the whole nation. So I started getting excited. And then he had to talk in tongues some more. And then he said, but there's so many English speaking people in South Africa. I'm going to put you on all across South Africa too every day. I said, okay. Then he said, I don't think you're strong enough in Miami. So you need to be in Miami every day. And I don't see you enough in Atlanta. So I need you in Atlanta. And he said, you've really dropped off in Los Angeles. And I want you just blanket in Los Angeles. And, you know, I wanted to interrupt him and say, yeah, well, there's just one thing about it, you see. I mean, there are television stations enough, and I've got programs. i got 30 years of programs. I have done 12,000 different breakthrough programs. 12,000. <laughs> then he said, when well, I wait a minute, come to think of it, I don't see you enough in America. So, and he just, he just kept going on. Australia, the United Kingdom. What else did I say? Huh? California, South Africa, Los Angeles, Miami, Atlanta. So he said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on across America and I'm going to put you on around the world. And I said, well, I appreciate that, sir, but there's an issue. He said, there's not any issue. And I know what you're thinking. And God told me to put you on all of it free for six months. Do you understand? Free. When your television bills have been a million dollars a week, do you understand? Free. Well, somebody get to shouting them. God's making room for Pentecost again. Power again. Miracle signs and wonders again. So, so, so.
It's just a little miracle. High five somebody and say, your miracle is going to be greater than our miracle. Because what's in us is about to hit you and your family. So you better just get some shouting up in here. Milk toast, no blood, no cross, no salvation, no miracles, no signs, no what I'm tired. If you're tired, shout revival is here. I'm gonna put that a Christian college. All over it. Last month, Ashton's program seriously was seen on as many households as her old man program that's been there for 30 years. Now you think that's not a miracle? And hers is free. No little thing being done in a corner. Go tell somebody.
here. Get up here. You on the front row, get up here. I want yoke destroyed. I want burden removed. You feel like you got a spirit of prayer on you? Get down here right now. Everybody on Facebook, send this to everybody you know. Say, get online right now.
is against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood, but the blood. We need the blood.
it. Every malfunction to lose its hold on you. I command blindness, deafness, dumbness to be loosed. I command your limbs to be loosed. I command your heart to be healed. I command your renal system to function properly. I curse that infection in your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is not made for sickness. It is not made for disease. I speak to Mr. Wither. I speak peace into your body. I speak recovery into your mind. I speak joy into your family. I loose you by the mighty power of the name of Jesus. I find every autism spectrum disorder. I find you. I curse you. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jehovah Joshua Messiah. I command them to loose their hold on you, to set your mind free. I command them to set your emotions free. I bind the spirit of drug addiction. I bind the opioid addiction, the heroin addiction, the cocaine addiction. And we shout now because you're coming.
you're connected. Now you want to really lose the anointing? Get online and sow a seed right now. A resurrection seed. Somebody shout because they're doing it. Shout right now! Where's Pastor Tim? Why are you stopping? Where's, get up here. You got to pray on you? Get up here. We're about to pray for 576,000 people within 12 miles of this church. Are you ready? Yes. Pray, Pastor. Father, we call from the north, from the south, from the east, and the west, and we declare it is not your will that any man will should perish, but it is your will that they would all come to the saving knowledge of your son Jesus Christ. We call in the 576,000 people within 12 miles of this room and may this anointing run like a ripple through the streets of Columbus, Ohio. May the anointing break the chains and the fetters and the binds upon the hearts of men and women. We call their minds to be clear. We call their souls to be healed. We call their, si their signs and wonders to arise. May you speak to the young men. May the old men have visions and the young men have dreams. And may they come. May they come. May they come. We call your sons and your daughters in from the chains of darkness. Loose them. Loose them, power of darkness. Loose them and set them free. You in the altar. Start dancing. Start dancing. In this altar, hey. Sunday morning, yes. in every spot. Yes. somebody right now right now right now Lisa get ready to sing that again get ready to sing that again I want you to start praying for that person on your left there's sickness in their body it's about to go I have this on God's authority I'm not just I have this on God's authority sicknesses by the hundreds many here comes the healing anointing into Elkhart, Indiana. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet shall be made whole. person on I heart right now oh, oh there was the anointing somebody's neck just got healed watching on I heart five sinus conditions just got healed watching on I heart a hip a hip on Facebook in Jesus name be healed you got those hands I dare you to allow a sickness to stay in the body of whoever's hand you got right now or their children yes. or their grandchildren now pray it out in here